So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video we will cover the main highlight features and do an overview of Nikon's D3500. Initially released in the fall of 2018, it replaces the highly popular Nikon D3400 and now takes the helm as their flagship entry-level camera. Nikon aims this camera squarely at beginning photographers looking for an upgrade in image quality over what their smartphones or compact cameras can provide. And they direct this camera as a competitor to Fujifilm's X-T100, Canon's Rebel T6 and SL2, and Sony's A5100 and A6000 cameras. It houses the same 24.2 megapixel CMOS sensor and X-Speed 4 image processor as the predecessor, but now removes the anti-aliasing filter for greater resolving abilities. And it also maintains the same continuous burst rate of 5 frames per second as the predecessor, which remains adequate for this class of camera. For video, it shoots 1080p, full HD video up to 60 frames per second, and it provides a native ISO range from ISO 100 to 25600, where users can expect usable images up to ISO 3200, and overall low light performance is quite good for this class of camera. It features an 11 point autofocusing system with both 3D and dynamic tracking, plus a cross type compatible centermost point for excellent subject tracking. It's quite surprising to see 3D tracking on this class of camera, as Nikon typically reserves this feature for their higher end, professional end cameras. It uses the standard Nikon EN14A battery, which Nikon rates for an impressive 1550 shots per charge, a 30% improvement over the predecessor. For displays, it features an optical viewfinder and a 3 inch wide angle rear screen, both of which are on par with the competition at this price. Physically, although the camera is inexpensive, it uses the same design principles from Nikon's higher end cameras like the D5000 series, and it maintains a comfortable grip and a strategic button layout that delivers excellent single hand control. Of the camera's release thus far, it remains one of Nikon's smallest and lightest to date. Outside of that, it also features Nikon's helpful guide mode, built-in Bluetooth, and flicker reduction. In the end, while it doesn't introduce many groundbreaking improvements over the predecessor, the improvements made in design, ergonomics, and battery deliver the more pleasant day-to-day -day shooter, and its compact, lightweight build makes it a highly capable option that gives the competing mirrorless cameras some stiff competition. So there you have it my friends, there are the highlights and the overview of Nikon's D3500. For more information on the D3500 and other recent Nikon cameras, check out our website photographypx.com, go to our camera reviews page, then to the Nikon section, and there you will see a full detailed written review, as well as other reviews of recent cameras that may be of interest to you. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, PhotographyPX.com. We will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if I overlooked something or I missed something covered in today's video. This is Devon Lennox. You know where to find us. Photography. <laughs> Yeah. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs>